Hey Internet, it's Gunther with Mini Mishaps Games. We are on round three, our last set of 15 of the peoples of the world in the new RPG that we're making. So you guys have already made it through if you've watched the previous two videos. An impressive 30 peoples and their abilities for the fists and minds system. And we have got the final 15 of the first 45. Uh, do let us know if you, there are peoples that you want to see have happened in the Fists and Minds system. And uh, what uh, peoples that you're coming up with your own games. We're all building these games together and we want to, uh, we want to hear what you're working on as well. But without further ado, here are the third set of 15 peoples for fists and minds all right next up we've got kobolds and these are essentially reptilian goblins uh, their first ability is i am mighty uh, which means they can switch their highest level trait with impact so that impact becomes the highest level trait uh, so they basically get really mad and that makes them strong i guess uh, next they have Trashy Treasure. They can use garbage in the place of non-magical components when they are crafting. Moving right along, I said we would have more insected animalians in the list. We do. The very next one is a Lepidopterin, uh, which is a butterfly person. In the lore, the butterfly folk, the Lepidopterins, uh, go through a metamorphosis from a caterpillar person to a butterfly kind of a person. Uh, but all of that happens before they would become characters. Uh, so we only have one set of abilities, and it's for after they're caterpillar people. They don't really uh, go adventuring as larvae. All right, first ability, Flight Burst, which means they can uh, fly with two more than their move level, and it lasts for just the one round. Uh, useful Plants, this is sort of a uh, multi-part... Uh, ability. Uh, it allows them to create like the bryophytes, a healing self or a poison. Or they have a third choice here, they can verify a plant which reduces the difficulty of a no uh, action for a plant within 10 squares. Alright, one of my favorites. We got the Liquidian and this is a living liquid metal person. Uh, literally the most metal person on the list and uh, they have two abilities pour me out uh, they can pass through spaces as if they have the tiny keyword even though they are a medium creature and magnetic personality uh, which means they can add the elemental keyword to any ability or check made with the influence trait and the influence trait again being the equivalent of a of a gift of gab or charisma or or uh, those kinds of, of stats. All right, next we've got our Minotaur, another one from our Gromachan Greco-Roman mythology. This is a human body with a cow or bull head, and uh, their first ability is crashing headbutt. Uh, they can move an enemy back on a successful non-ranged weapon attack, and maze sense. This one's hard to say. Uh, they cannot become lost as long as the way back remains the same as it was when they came. Again, that one's kind of stretchy and in the GM discretion field, uh, but we're we're trying to do a, a spread during playtesting of very mathematical to simple and understandable to be creative and figure out new ways to use it to kind of out of balance trade-offs with with deficits um, so that's part of the process too next up we have a mouse kin a mouse person a mouse folk um, they do get the redenta keyword and therefore that language they have an ear for danger uh, which means anybody that's trying to surprise them or do backstabbing uh, it's more difficult and they have noble cuteness, uh, which means that uh, any 
other character that we'd use in influence skill against them also is one more difficulty uh, for that check for them. You guys hanging in there and doing okay? We've got 10 more to go. So our next peoples is Musharai or Musharai. Our next peoples are Musharai and these are mushroom based people. Uh, they have Mushroom Dust, which is another multi-choice uh, ability. They can do a Cure Poison. They can do a um, Increase to Influence. Uh, or they can do like the uh, other, the Lepidopteran plant ability except for Fungus. So Verify Fungus, Moss, or Mold uh, reduces the difficulty for the no action regarding those things. Uh, their second ability is Contagious Spores. Uh, they have the Sporification keyword. Now, as of right now, there are three keywords that we'll talk about in another video that are sort of infectious, and that is your vampirism, lycanthropy, and sporification. So, uh, watch for those keywords. They're coming. Next we've got Nighthorn, which is a demonic aesthetic uh, human, or elf, and uh, their uh, first ability is a fiery lineage, uh, which means they take half damage from the fire keyword and double damage from the light keyword. Uh, second ability is favors and contracts, uh, which allows them to add their strategy level uh, to checks instead of an influence level if they choose. Next up we've got the orc and the orc's first ability is brutal tactics uh, which means that they can uh, first they have brutal tactics which means that their strategy and impact are raised while standing next to another orc uh, and tusk art which uh, means that the craft action is re is easier to do uh, if any of the components come from defeated animals, beasts, dragons, another DM discretion one. All right, next we have got the Pandaren, and their first ability is Bamboo Blessed. The uh, means that their impact uh, acts as if it's one level higher if their weapon is made from bamboo. And River Calm, uh, which if they are using the elemental keyword, their influence abilities are easier. Next up, we've got Pixies, and their first ability is Mischief Magic, uh, which means they can add a magical keyword of their choice to a spell being cast by an enemy. Um, so that's kind of a fun add the... Add the uh, the cold ability to a fireball, etc. Uh, second ability is Dust Flight. Uh, they can give the flying keyword to an ally, and that only lasts for a round. The Rope Elf is next, and their first ability is Sunfei Tourism, uh, which means as long as they are in an area with the forest keyword, uh, they can re-roll influence checks one time. And uh, the Ropomancy Heritage is the second ability here, which means that any check spell or ability that involves rope is easier for them to do. The difficulty ratings, when to add difficulty, when to add to the rolls, all of that will be another future uh, video as well. Uh, but essentially, you're going to have a baseline of a 10 on a 20-sided dice. And then there are zones of difficulty that are moved around by, by the abilities to tell you what you need to roll. Rather than it being either arbitrary or having to look it up on a chart or having every single thing have a difficulty check. Um, the Game Master, it would just be gen uh, choosing how difficult... Uh, they think a check would be for a given individual. Okay, Saurian is next. This is a dinosaur-based person. And right now, they're all lumped together. Uh, moving along, we may decide that there are uh, separate peoples from specific dinosaur uh, modeling. But 
For now, it's just Saurian. They have Jurassic History, um, which reduces the difficulty of no action if the content is regarding a history of a previous age. Uh, so, again, there the, the GM can decide what an age is. Um, for the Getherverse, for my universe, uh, the, the last age ended when the uh, apocalypse happened and the world blew up. So, next up, we have got uh, Eons of Apex. Uh, this character can use their teeth for grappling uh, action. Next, we've got the Shelliardi, which is a turtle based person. Uh, they have the ability Backspin. Uh, which means they can use an action to attack every creature that's uh, within one square. Um, it has to be a non-ranged weapon attack. Uh, and uh, they basically, that's a, that's a one-off and then they would have to uh, rest after that. And then their second ability, Haste Mace, Makes Waste. Uh, they have increased movement as long as they are within 20 squares of anyone with the Rodenta keyword. So a uh, little nod to the the uh, tortoise and the hare there. Next we've got the Wobblemer, uh, which is a Tarsier. Tarsier? Tarsier. If it's French, it's Tarsier person. Um, but because of the anthropomorphizing of a creature like that. It could be a sugar glider, it could be an eye eye, one of those uh, semi marsupials that has giant eyeballs, basically. Um, and wobblemers are asymmetrical, so one eyeball is, is larger than the other, which I'll explain in the abilities. So, uh, Mud Huttery is their first ability. Uh, any characters making camp with this character cannot be surprised during sleep encounters. And our second ability is Asymmetrical Perception, uh, which means that they can target creatures uh, with ranged weapons five squares further than the weapon's normal range. So they have long shot because of extra <laughs> big eyeball on one side. And our last uh, peoples of the day are the Yeti. And the Yeti have uh, do have the big keyword, so they cannot ride a centaur. Um, but they could carry a dwarf. And their first ability is a mountain yell. Uh, they can use the ability, uh, the influence abilities at three times the normal range. So they can be very loud and communicate across long distances. Uh, and then their second one is a sighted sprint, which means they can triple their move uh, once between each uh, time they have a full rest. We made it. It took us three videos and like an hour and a half of recording footage to, to edit down. But we're here. We got through all 45. We hope you enjoyed. We hope you try these uh, peoples out. If you're going to try the uh, fists and minds system let us know if there's anything we can do to accommodate that make it easier uh, this is still maybe a year or more out from being actually published but we're doing this as a community effort we want you guys to give us the feedback we want to make adjustments we, we catch our spelling errors um, but we also want this to be a time when you can build your own ttrpgs alongside of what we're doing so fists and minds is the system that's the 10 traits and uh so that's the part that that will be um available at the end and then all of the um classes and peoples in specific uh world parts those will be the getherverse play setting so um we invite you to make your own lists for peoples uh, for the fists and mind system or uh, classes for the fists and mind system you can also play this system without classes and peoples um, you would just remove the abilities and give four uh, trait adjustments upon character creation so that's some uh, 
extra system building. And thank you again for watching our videos. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, Internet.